Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Front Lines by Michael Grant. So Michael Grant starts with a great premise and an alternate history situation. What if American women had fought alongside men in World War II? In this book we have three point of view that you know that I really really like point of view. Because with point of view you get to know a little bit more of a character and yeah. First we have Rio, she's like the average American girl. She's from a small town in California and she decided to fight in this war. She decided to enlist with her best friend Jinu. Her reasons are that her sister Rachel is having a bad time in the war and Jinu, her best friend, well, she really likes boys. She just wanted to get in the war because boys. Mm. Another point of view is Frances. She's a poor American, African American girl, and yeah, she wants to be a medic. I really think that Frances gets, you know, the worst part of this book because she's African American, and she got a lot of struggles with people um, making fan of her. As on the first page it says, um, there's going to be a lot of hate here. And they warned you. This is war, you know? There's going to be a lot of hate. If you want hate, there's going to be a lot of hate. Uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, sex scenes. There's going to be a lot of presents. And there's going to be a lot of those um, problems that in 1941 were too real. Oh yeah, Frenchy, but I really love how she managed this. The third main character is Rainy. She's a Jewish girl and she is very smart and I love her. She has this mm, sharp mind and tongue. She's very smart and she's very proud to be a Jewish, like, well, every Jewish, I think. And she don't give a fuck about people saying wrong things. They're fighting Germans. And she is Jewish. I love how she managed the situations. And I love how she doesn't take crap for anyone. Alternate history is one of the hardest things to do in YA. And Michael Grant did a very good job because I forgot that this was alternate. I thought that women were real in war, they were fighting. And I thought that Rio, Rainy, and Franji were real because some events are real, some places are real and, and yeah this book is very huge it's like 550 pages or something i thought that it's going to be a standalone book you know wait this is huge it's going to be an ending here it's going to be a good ending and when i read the review here and it says like a uh, fresh start with a new series but I am actually not sad because I really love this book and I really want to get to know what happened with the Rio Rainy and Frangie and I want to see more events but yeah there's going to be a lot of more war a lot of more romance maybe I didn't talk about romance because I don't love romance but I didn't have that much romance that I didn't like it was good it was like okay Wow, guys, go buy it, go love it, and go tell me your opinions because I really want to fanboy with someone. And while I wait for the second book, I think I'm going to read Coding Verity by Elizabeth. That's it, guys. I hope this is going to be a short review. See you next time. Bye. I'm not the one by today.